Hi everybody, it's Bobby, the owner of My Life Vlogged, and what I want to talk to you about today is a great little program that I found a while back called Drop It. Drop It is the Harry Potter of organization. It's very magical, <laughs> in my opinion anyway. And if you're like me, you have a what I like to call a catch-all download folder, which is where when you download things from the internet or from your computer, etc. It goes into your download folder. And if you're like also like me, a lot of times it looks like the internet just kind of threw up in it. I know that's a terrible analogy, but that's basically what it looks like. It has everything in it. And organizing those files can take hours out of your life to do. And it's such a pain. But you can't just have everything sitting in there because you'll never find anything. So you need to organize it. That's why I love Drop It. It makes it so easy to organize my catch-all download folder. And I'm really excited to tell you about it. And I'm going to get started because I really kind of want to try to make it a short video. But how Drop It works is you make file associations. File associations are kind of like the rules you make in your email. Like say you get emails from your child's school. You may make a folder just for those emails in your email folder and then whenever your child's school emails you it goes directly into that folder so you know you have a new email. That's sort of the way this works. You make associations and then you drop your files and they go into the folders they are supposed to go into. So I want to show you my file, my folder. I actually have a different folder for my Drop It organization. It just seemed easier to me. And as you can see, I have a lot of file associations. And I have JPEGs, movies, PDF, PNG, PSD, and zips. I'm going to be talking to you about movies because um, that's the association I deleted so I could show you how to make one. And as you can see, the folder's empty at this point. So we're going to close this out and we're going to right click on our associations or our drop it and we're going to click on associations and here is where you can see the rules <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry I got a little frog in my throat today um, this is where you can see the rules for my files. You can add as many as you want. So I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to name it movies and then over here is a lot of um, examples for rules and this is actually kind of like a little cheat sheet because it has all of the basic files and can tell you you know and you can click on that and that'll make a rule however if you um, I, I used to be in a community called P, the PSP community it was for paint shop pro users and they make tags using artwork I was a copyright manager for a lot of the artists artwork that was being used and a lot of times we would download, they call them tubes, and we would download them and they would go into a folder and then we'd have to spend years of our life trying to make sure everybody's tubes went into the right folder. So it like they could even use this to make, um, make file rules for certain artists. And then they can just drop the files in and it'll go in the artist folder. So it's really, you know, you can use it for just about anything as far as files concerned. You can make the rules as intricate as you want or as easy as you want. Today, I'm going to make it pretty easy and I'm just going to click on common videos. And that's what my movies are going to be. And as you can see, it has all of the major file associations with movies. And I'm going to move that. I'm going to move them into a destination folder. Now I have four different desktops on my computer so this is going to get a little weird but you would basically just go to the folder um, that you want to put it in. I'm going to have to go over here and I'm going to click on movies and click OK and then that is where my my movies are going to go when I drop them. So now I'm going to click save and as you can see right there it is it's already in there. I'm going to close it out and then as you can see over here, I'll bring them a little closer. I have some movies that I'm using for a for two campaigns that I'm working on. Or while well, I was working on Honey Made, now I'm working on Meow Mix. Um, but these are movies I had permission to download, so I thought I would go ahead and use them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on them and select them all. And I'm going to drop them right into Drop It. And then I'm going to hit play. They're gone. And there they are. Easy as that. 
right into my folder they go. So as you can see, I also have some zip files here that haven't been moved yet, that I had just kind of moved into the file. So I'm going to go ahead and move those, hit play, and now they are in my zips. That's all you have to do. I mean, it's so easy to do. You can't go wrong with it. Um, you know, it, it's a little hard at first to do all of your file associations. I mean, it takes a little time, but once you do it, that's it. All you do is drop your folder files in there and it goes directly into the folder that you need it to go into and you're done. Everything's organized. And then what I do is like, as you can see, this folder says download 15. I have a bunch of different download folders and I move them over to my external. So not only are my folders organized, but now I have them on my external and I can find any folder I want at any time. And I don't have to search through 15,000 catch-all files in one download folder. I know where they are. You know, I may not exactly know which download folder they're in, but, you know, I can just look look up my zips and it'll come up. So it's, it's really easy and it's a great way to keep organized, especially if you're a blogger, if you're a website designer, you download a lot of stuff. It's really, really easy to use this and keep everything organized and you can always find it. And I can't say enough good things about it. Like I said, it is free. I'll put, I've put i got the link underneath the video, and I also got the link on the blog post. You know, it's free. Only thing you've got to do is give it 30 days. If you don't like it, you can uninstall it. If you like it and love it like I do, then great. So anyway, if you do try it out, please let me know in the comments whether or not you liked it or what you did with it. Maybe you have some file associations you'd like to share. And I will talk to you next video. Have a great Tech Tuesday. Bye.